I'm Sharon, my lazy girl meal prep for easy weight loss. I'm making sausages on a bun, cheesy smashed potatoes, and mixed veg on the side. Meal preps like these help me lose 130 pounds and keep it off for nine years because they're so tasty, super quick, and simple to throw together that it made my journey feel fun and effortless and really helped me stick to what I was doing so I could get big results. So this is what you're gonna need, cutie. Let's do this, oh yeah. We're gonna need some mustard, eight sausage buns. We're using the Villaggio Crostini. They are 180 cals a bun for reference for when you're looking for yourself. Some fat-free sour cream. Eight chicken sausages. We got these from our local grocery store in Canada, Zares. These are the clean gourmet chicken sausages. Don't get stuck if you can't find the exact one. You just need eight of them and looking for about 150 cows and 17 grams of protein per sausage. So just get something similar. Eight of them because we're making eight meals. We need some sauerkraut and this is just from Walmart. Eight white potatoes that have been rinsed and dried. And this is just a bag of white potato from a bag of white potatoes from Walmart. Two tablespoons of melted margarine. I'm using the country crock. It's two teaspoons is 35 cows. So it's like a light margarine. We need 120 grams of shredded cheese. This is just regular marble cheese from Costco. And a bag of frozen mixed veggies. This is the great value kind. And then we need some meal prep containers. I'm doing six meal prep containers and two plates because Sass and I are eating these for dinner tonight. And then we have six meal prep containers. These are from Walmart. I like the compartment ones. So we're doing four meals for me, four meals for Sass. Now, let's get started. I got a pot of water boiling on the stove. I'm going to put the veggies in and then I'm going to get the potatoes going. All right, so I'm just gonna dump this in into the boiling water and I'm gonna let these cook for five or so minutes just until they're heated through and then I'm gonna drain them and set them aside while I cook everything else. Now we got ourselves a microwave safe plate here and I'm going to poke holes in all of the potatoes with a fork all over the place because we're microwaving these because we're doing it quick and easy, sweetheart. So poke them all and then we're gonna put them in a single layer on the plate. Okay, these are ready to go. I'm gonna put them in the microwave and cook them for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna flip them halfway. They're done when you can easily put a fork through them. That's when they're ready to get smashed. Okay, I'm going to be piercing the sausages with um, a knife and then I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. I have the air fryer preheated at 400 degrees. So you just wanna poke them all over so that they don't like, you know, get funny in the air fryer. Okay, I sprayed these with cooking spray so that they don't stick and I'm just gonna put them in a single layer in the air fryer. And then I'm going to air fry them for eight to 12 minutes until they're getting golden and, and heated all the way through. These are fully cooked sausages already. There we go. While everything's cooking, I'm making this. This is called lazy girl meal prep because I've always wanted big results, but I didn't want to put a whole lot of effort into doing it. And if my meals aren't tasty and they're too long or complicated to prep, I'm not going to stick to it. So meals like these, meal preps like these really helped me look forward to what I was doing and stick to it because they're so effortless to throw together. They're super tasty. They're budget friendly items, which I'm on a budget. So that really helps. I don't have to think. It's automatic portion control. One sausage, one potato, one bun, and I lost my weight with portion control. And this just made it feel like I was getting maximum results for minimal effort. It just felt 
so easy and like I wasn't dieting and that has been really important for me to be able to get the weight off and keep it off the same with sass um, and so that's why we do things like this that are super tasty and if you want to know the exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight you can buy my weight loss ebook called the first 50 the link is down below and code Nicole will save you 10% and I also got protein if you like proteiny this is huddle HTLT subs best tasting protein powder ever this is luckier marshmallow cereal if you know me you know I'm a cereal girl and this really helps get my cereal cravings out code Nicole will save you 10% link down below sweetheart okay the veggies are done I'm just straining them and then putting them back in the pot now they're ready to get divvied up sweetheart okay I'm going to divide the veggies up between the eight meal prep containers and plates. I'm going to do half a cup for every container and I'm going to be putting the veg into the little, little compartments and then on the plates. I'm changing who I am. I'm making a new plan. Rearranging my life and I won't look back ever again. Yeah. If you ain't see me activated, you better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, plan them out, evaluate. Okay, I'm going to get the buns prepped. So for the meal prep containers, in case we're doing on the go traveling, um, I'm going to show you how I wrap those and get them ready. For the meals that Sass and I are eating now, um, I'm just going to literally put the buns on the plate, like so. And then these ones, I'm going to wrap in plastic wrap. And then that way, if you're taking these to work or on the go for dinner somewhere, um, or you work where you eat dinner at work, you can literally, I'm going to store them like this in the fridge, and you can literally pull your meal prep and pull your bun and then go. That'll be that easy. So I'm just going to wrap six buns up and then have them in that container ready to go. And the friends, the sausages are done. They took nine minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, the friends, so I'm putting the sausages in kind of on an angle because I'm going to put the potato here and then I'm going to put the sauerkraut here. So I'm putting one sausage in each container and then I'm gonna put a sausage in each bun for Sassy and I's dinner tonight. Two, two, then open that, sweet up, get it right in there. There you go, sweetie. Oh, this one's a little funny. There you go, sweetheart, in you go, bud. Now, let's put the sauerkraut. We're gonna do two tablespoons of sauerkraut and I'm gonna put it just on the side here. Just like so. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to be putting a teaspoon of mustard onto the sausages in the buns. And then for the other sausages that are in the meal prep containers, this is super easy to just grab and go. So you can just take the bottle, you can put it in a container if you want, but you just do a little squirt of rooney when you're ready to eat those. So a teaspoon. Let's make it like cute. I'm a fancy funny girl. And I've got the air fryer preheating for the smashed potatoes at 400 degrees and I'm going to do about five minutes. The potatoes took 20 minutes in the microwave and I flipped them twice while they were cooking and now that everything else is done I'm going to work on the potatoes. So let's give ourselves some room here. What I would like to do is I'm going to put a little X just to make it a little easier to smash. And then I'm going to take the bottom of a glass and just gently press down so that they smash up real cute, like so. And then I'm gonna put them on a plate. That was like magic. I know, wasn't that cool? Dun to see. Do a little smash -aroo. Beautiful. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is 
take a pastry brush and brush both sides of the potatoes with a little bit of the melted margarine so that they don't stick in the air fryer. Um, this one, I'm just gonna be straight up with you. This one got a little broken, so I'm gonna gently <laughs> brush the bottom of that one. Ooh, the cheese will melt, or uh, will uh, pink it back together. Dee -dee -dee. And brush, brush. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna take the remaining um, of the margarine and just gently like brush on some, just to make sure extra sure that the tatties don't stick in here. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do some salt and pep to taste. So whatever you like, just a little sprinkle to season them up. Hello, happy pepper patiti. Then we got one last step a is to divide the cheese up between the potatoes, about 15 grams per potato. You can measure it exactly or you can eyeball it, whatever. Um, you prefer. Okay, now I'm going to carefully place these into the air fryer in a single layer. I do have some cheese left over that I'm gonna divide once they're in the pan. All right, let's put the remaining cheese on here and then we're gonna close it and let them crisp up for a few minutes. Five minutes. Cheese will be nice and melty and these should be Chris starting to crisp and being golden and cute. Okay, while those are cooking, I have six little containers with lids that I got from Walmart. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of the sour cream in each container. I usually, when I'm putting things in containers like this, I do a little bit of a heaper just to make sure that you get the exact amount because you don't wanna like lose out on some. So that's how I do it. And then these are gonna be a topping for the potato. Once the potatoes come out and I plate them, I'll top our dinner potatoes with that. All right, they are perfectly done. Five minutes, beautiful golden and crispy. Now let's uh, challenge myself to pop these out of here onto the plate. They smell amazing. Oh, they're gonna be so good. Oh, these look so good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a potato and put it into each container. And then we already have these sour creams ready to go over there. Okay, so this is what they look like. Feel free to season with salt and pepper your like veg and stuff if you want. I probably will when I eat them. And then I'm going to top these with sour cream. Daisy. Yeah, that's the one. There we go. Oh, look at how cute that is. <laughs> okay, so this is your meal prep. You have eight meals. You can eat them all for yourself. You can split them up like Sass and I do. Do whatever you want. It's ready to go. Um, what we like to do is these will stay good in the fridge for three to four days. If you want to freeze them, you can. Um, just thaw them overnight in the fridge and then what we like to do to reheat, either microwave or air fryer makes both veg everything good. Just remove the sauerkraut before you microwave or air fry them. For each meal, so for the whole meal with all the toppings, the sauerkraut, this, the, I was gonna call that cream cheese. For the sour cream, it's 581 calories, 16 grams of fat, 82 grams of carbs, and 32 grams of protein. Oh. So super tasty, easy, protein's gonna keep you full. What more do you want? Can you believe this is for diet? And that's why we've been able to keep the weight off as long as we have. The friends, take it from Sass and I from experience. We did lots of long, boring meal preps of boring food that we didn't want to eat. And so we didn't stick to what we were doing. Weight loss does not have to be a punishment. Meal preps do not have to be long, boring, or complicated. You're allowed to make it quick and simple and tasty because what do I always say? 
if you're new, what I always say is, if you're not having fun, you're not getting it done. Because if you don't like what you're eating or what you're doing, you're never gonna be able to stick to it. You have gotta love it, you have gotta wake up every morning and go, what the heck, I'm eating tainies, cheesy tainies and sausage? And that's how you gotta love it till you stick to it. Don't forget to friends to watch this vid and this vid for more fun, sustainable weight loss tips. Because what? Sass and I are real friends losing weight into real world. We eat real food, normal food that you can buy at Walmart. We love what we eat and that's why we do what we do and we can stick to it day after day because it's fun and cute. Thanks for watching, love ya. Really appreciate your support. Peace it, because I will, because I will catch you in the next one, cutie. Peace it, peace it, peace it. I'm eating sausage now. My mouth is not big enough. No comment. <laughs> oh, that is good stuff. I love that spice in there too. Mm. It's not too much, this hurt. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it.